Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Triple M Games, and I'm going to be showing you a quick little tutorial on how to install my MF panel add-on, or make folders panel. So let's get into it. Uh, we are going to start out uh, going to GitHub and mainman002 and MF panel. Uh, you'll start out in the master branch, which I have it automatically set up to go.3, Godot3. Sorry. And we'll just click on Godot 3. And we'll scroll down here and it shows the README. It tells you how to install it and uh, what things do. But we're going to click up here, clone, and then download zip. And it will save it to your downloads folder. I already have it downloaded. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a new Godot 3 project. Uh, we are going to browse. Okay, and then uh, right here we're going to go to the MF panel tutorial or create a new folder called MF panel tutorial. We'll select the folder MF panel tutorial and create an edit. Okay, and what we're going to need to do is We're going to find our folder, and right here is our project that we just created. We're going to create add-ons, and wherever we downloaded our, our zip folder to, then we're going to double click into that, and go over here, add-ons, and all we need to do is copy that over. You don't need the icons or the license or the README. Unless if you want it. And this will have <laughs> my own little license in it. That's MIT license. You can do whatever you want with it. Just if you redistribute or change my add-on, I'd like it if <laughs> you'd uh, at least link or give, give some credit to me. You don't have to, but it'd be nice. And we've got our scene file which holds the panel itself. We've got the mfpanel.gd script and the panel script and the plugins. Over here I've got a sprite. It's a repeatable tileable texture so uh, I'll show you what that does here in a moment. Let's open up our Godot uh, project. We're gonna go over here to project, project settings, plugins, and here you should see the MF panel version 1.0 and Jonathan Mueller, which is me. <laughs> uh, if you don't, then just click up here and update. Then wherever it says inactive, click active. And you won't see anything at first. So let's scroll this over here. And there it is, the MF panel. And by default, it looks a little, you know, scrunched up. But at the top, we have the title, which make folders panel, select the folders you want to generate. Each folder will be added to the assets directory. And by default, whenever you open this up, it creates the, the assets folder, but it doesn't create anything inside of that yet. Um, later on, I might change it to where it doesn't do this by default, but We'll show you. And down here, we've got info, options, and BG, which backgrounds. And what these things do is they allow you to toggle the title text and the select all, deselect all, and reset names. You can select that and it will hide those. And now, as you can see, we're starting to see more of what we can do with this. And the background, there's the tileable texture. You can set it up to be whatever you want it to be and it should automatically change. But here's where the cool stuff happens. Um, I will open up the file at the bottom, file systems, we're gonna put that at the bottom. And then now as we can see, we have the file manager, we've got the assets, the add-ons. We're gonna click in assets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to deselect all and as you can see, that deselects everything. Now if we change this to other random stuff, 
We'll just do that for everything. And now why am I doing this? Well, because what if you like really screw up and you've got some really strange names here and there and you just want to reset it back to the way it was before it cha changed anything? Click reset names and it goes exactly back to the way it was before. And you can even select everything and that selects everything. So I'm going to deselect all. I'm going to select options off. And then I want to export scenes. And then we'll click create folders. What's this? Nothing happened. That's because you need to click off and click on to go dots editor. So I'll just open up my file manager and then I'll click on it again and then it loads it. For some reason, Godot's uh, file manager does not automatically import new directories. It's probably just a script thing that I've overlooked or haven't found yet. So if any of you know how to fix that, please let me know and I'll add it and everything should be fine. So if I choose select all and we don't need uh, the add-ons folder we technically already created so uh, don't need it. And if we want extras one then you can have that. Also if uh, a folder already exists it's not going to make it again but you can once you created a folder you can do another so I'm gonna create all I'm click off of it click onto it again and you'll see there and if I click in scenes you'll see test one but if I just create more then I'm just gonna select none and then if I try to create it again and if I click off and click on it's not there because it can only create one new directory at a time. There's probably some way that I could add more, but I don't know yet. Anyway, uh, this is my add-on, and I'm really happy to uh, actually have one to show off. Um, as you can see, it looks real great in the full view, and you can do whatever you want with it. As you can see, it can be a pretty good standalone panel if you want it to just be full screen uh, you can hide those and it just becomes this really nice list later on I might add a search panel or some way to where you can actually set up the directory for where all these folders will be uh, so you don't have to manually you know like this this goes up out of the assets folder and into your main directory Everything is going into the res uh, file, and then whatever you see here is what you can get. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and well, let's hear. I'll I'll change. I'll change the background image just so you can see it can be changed. I mean, you can probably scale it up or not. Um, so I'm just going to change this to one solid black image. If we go over here and enable it, as you can see, the background. I, I made sure that it's transparent and already slightly darker. So if you uh, generate maybe some clouds, plasma, and we'll export that. You can see it creates this really <laughs> psychedelic kind of thing. But yeah, that is my add-on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope this add-on will be useful to you guys. And I look forward to adding more features to it later. Uh, feel free to test it. I'll leave a link to my GitHub repository. Um, I have it set up so that later on hopefully the go.asset library will accept it and then later on you'll just go to the asset library and you will click on once it loads up uh, you'll click on tools okay, come on there we go you click on tools and then it will probably be 
in the second yeah second option second window so yeah uh thank you very much for watching it also works in the 3d view as well it's you know just a, a simple little panel item i prefer it in the top parts of the panel but it works pretty good wherever you you have it on your menu So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy using the Make Folders panel.